this is your quick guide to completing the Liberty Falls Easter Egg on Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. There's only one thing you need to do before starting the Easter Egg and that is to build the Wonder Weapon. You can do this for free by following my quick guide. I will link it on screen in the top corner and it'll be the first link in the description. Go and check out that video, follow through the guide, build the Wonder Weapon and come back to this point in this video and we can continue on with the Easter Egg. The first step is to build the LTG. We do this by using the Jet Gun Wonder Weapon, which is why we need it before we start. To get your first part, head into the church and interact with the Dark Aether Canister Machine that's on the right hand side. This will teleport you and you'll be able to see and hear Panos speaking to you. And next to him there will be a floating hat. If you use the Jet Gun you can suck up this item and it'll be in your inventory. The second part is located in Ollie's comics. If you go around the shop looking for the little minifigures of the superhero, you can suck them up with a jet gun and after you've collected three of them, if you look above the counter, there will be your second item. Suck it up using a jet gun and that's you got part two. The third and final part is a little bit more tricky. It's located above the window of the barber shop on the main street. I found this easier to jump off of the building onto the white truck, turn around and then you can use the jet gun to suck it from there and that will be you have all three parts. Next head up to the roof of the bank or the Alamo and you'll be able to use the buildable table up there to build the LTG and that's step one done. This next step is a little bit dodgy, uh, we failed it a couple of times when we were trying it so please listen carefully. Head back into the church and grab one of the ether canisters from the ether canister machine that you interacted with before speaking to Panos. You can't run when you're carrying this, so be careful if there are zombies around. Take this down the street and place it next to where the ether trap would be on the street. It needs to be within the vicinity of the purple ring that would spawn when you activate the trap and place it down next or within that vicinity. Then you can head up to the cemetery and place down the LTG underneath the purple cloud. This will spawn a portal and zombies will start to attack it. Defend the portal and an abomination will spawn. This is the high value target. It's red and it looks different from other abominations so you know that this one is the, the main guy. I recommend having health bars on for this. If you damage him enough you can take him down to the Dark Aether trap, activate the trap and kill him while he's standing in the trap. You will see his soul go into the canister then very quickly grab the canister run back to the church and place the canister back into the canister machine where you got it from doing this will open a drawer on the machine itself and you'll be able to collect the strauss device grab that device and we are ready to move on to the next step the next step involves interacting with three scanners around the map the first one is on the grass in between liberty lanes and the church the second one is next to the white house where you open up the garden shed to get the wonder weapon piece and the third one is on the roof of the ice cream shop that you jump down onto from the roof of the bank. Your Strauss device will show three different colours. It will be green, yellow or red and you need to interact with the scanner to make it the appropriate colour. If the Strauss device shows green then you need to change the scanner to show red. If the Strauss device is yellow then you set the scanner to yellow and if the Strauss device is red, you set the scanner to green. Once you've done this correctly, three lasers will shoot out and they'll head down towards the petrol station where you spawn and it will unlock the dark aether canister which is located next to the petrol station and we can repeat the previous step in a new location. We have a new dark aether canister. We are down at the spawn. I recommend dropping the dark aether canister in one of the three spots of the spawn trap. After placing down the Dark Aether canister, if you haven't already, go and grab the LTG from the cemetery and place it down under the Dark Aether cloud in between the spawn and the comic shop. This will repeat the process that we've done before, except you will now have a red mangler. Thin out the zombie wave if you've turned around over and damage him until you can kill him within that ether field that you've placed the dark canister. Once you've done this, his soul will then go into the canister and you'll be able to take that canister up to the church. You only have a minute and a half to do this, which is loads of time, but just try and be quick about it. Once you've interacted with the Dark Aether machine to put the canister back in, 
do not interact with the machine again. This is the final step. If you interact with the machine again, it will activate the end of the Easter egg and you will be stuck in the end of the Easter egg. Take the time now to go and prepare, grab perks, level up your guns, be ready for a fight. I don't want to say any spoilers, it is a survival task. It's not particularly long if you are prepared for it. If you're just here to see what happens at the end, I will link an unlisted video in the description down below where you will be able to see the fight itself and the options that you get after the fight. If you found this guide helpful, please leave a like on the video. It's good to know that it is helpful and why not subscribe while you're in there? It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.